to find that sometimes you try your best you understand but you still fail hello hello guys and uh, welcome back to gift diversity tv uh this is gift Pozekana, your host we are at the uh, university of kwazulu natal in ukzn to be specific howard college campus right so i'm with a, a student a student here uh can you introduce yourself my uh, my name is freedom sambo a third year chemical engineering student here at howard because at the end wow 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 engineering yeah. student yes. that year chemical engineering student yes. right so like why uh okay let, let's take it back did you want to study chemical engineering while you are in high school or is there other courses that you wanted to study now nah, honestly speaking i wanted to start something else related to health sciences but you know man sometimes your plans are not God's plan, you know, so I found myself here doing engineering, but after some time, uh, I ended up gaining the love and I, I think right now uh, something that I like, but it's not something that I would say I wanted to do from the beginning, you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. you wanted maybe to do uh, medicine, medicine for and us. for, oh, okay, 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 yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay, yes. okay. All right. So where, where are you from originally? I'm um, from Pumalang, I'm Pumalanga province. Oh, Pumalanga province, yes. you are in UKZN now. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. So you decided to study uh, chemical engineering here at UKZN? Yeah, I decided to come here at UKZN because uh, weighing my options, I think that was the better offer. So I had to travel all the way. You know, when you really want something that is a bit better, you do whatever it takes to come, you know. So yeah, oh, that's why I'm okay. here for it. Yes, sir. All right. So yes. how is that here? Hey. I don't want to lie to you, bro. It's very, very, very challenging, man. But, you know, I'm trying my best, but it's very, very challenging. It's not an easy degree. And when you go there, third year, fourth year, that's when it's really, really challenging. And you really need your time, you know, dedication and all that. But I try my all to, like, you know, to be on point. As you can see now. Yes. From the lab, you know. I can see. It's, you can see, guys. It's written. Uh, chemical engineering, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming yeah. from the lab from from yeah. seven a.m. I see you're passionate about yes, what you're studying. Yes, yeah, I'm passionate. I can yeah, say so. Yeah, yes. yeah. So now, uh, you during your application, like, how did you apply to study at UKZN? Probably someone is watching us. They want to come and study at UKZN. How did you apply? Um, applying at UKZN is very, very easy. You just go to Google and say, um. CAO application, CAO application, then you search application there. Then uh, there will be a lot of institutions like around Devon. Then you just have to look for courses that you want. They write, you know, at the end of it that this course is best at uh, UKZN or either DUT, Mango Suit, and all that. So once you are on CAO page, everything is provided there. Then it's up to you on what you want. So I just went there then applied for like um the maximum is six choices and applied for six choices including chemical engineering and here as you can see i got accepted and i am here today so guys it's possible kids in high school it's possible just go to google and say cao application start your application then you know apply for whatever you feel like you want to do but one thing i'll just advise the kids make sure you apply for what you want because depression is real when you do something you don't like and you end up being bored while doing it so i just want to say to all the kids out there make sure you attend career exhibitions you research more about that course you want to apply for before you apply for because when you get here investing investing is not a joke guys you end up like you know dropping off and all that because oh, okay. you don't like what you're doing you know understand yeah 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 guys it's very important study what you you, you really love because passion is what pushes you because it might not be easy to finish a degree especially if a degree is difficult right yeah so my guy uh you came to ukzn right how is it to study in Deben? like the beauty of Deben? let's talk about that hey Deben is very very beautiful man Deben is very very beautiful as you can see our campus is also beautiful so at least when you're stressed you know when you go out you know you get refreshed we can go to the beach you know and see the city i can say in terms of beauty you know it's a very beautiful experience for me i'm happy and proud to be here Happy and you don't regret coming to UK? No, nah, no, nah, not at all. I do not regret at all, sir. On okay. academic side, what other challenges are you coming across as a student in this university? Um, in terms of academics, challenges are to find that sometimes you try your best, you understand, but you still fail. It happens. This is what's it. You know, you can you know cross night and do your best and still fail. 
so i can say those are the challenges but regardless of those challenges i try by all means to like rectify from my mistakes and always try to implement new ways of studying you know and form start groups you know use internet you know resources you know to do better and i can say yeah it's, it's getting better you know it's getting better yes yes i can say so guys uh, deben is a very very beautiful place indeed and I, I'm here right now, all the way from Cape Town, and I can attest to that, that uh, Deben is a very, very beautiful place, right? Yeah. So, how is it in engineering? Oh, you, you did say about that, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, Chemical yes. engineering yes, and yes. stuff. So, what the, do you know any uh, requirements to study engineering here? Okay, for you to start uh, engineering, minimum should be 65 mathematics and physical sciences and a minimum APS of 33 but uh, take note that is only minimum requirements you know in terms of competitions and all that you can get exactly 65 on those I've mentioned but still get rejected due to a space you know so I would advise you to like you know get good marks you know more than that minimum so that you stand a very good chance to be accepted but the minimum is 65 maths 65 physical sciences then um, a minimum of 35 points you understand but it's always recommendable or advisable to aim high, man, so that you stand a very good chance to be accepted. That's what I can tell the students. Yeah. Oh, yes. Me meeting the minimum requirements does not guarantee you an admission to the program, guys. Right. My guy, any advice or last word uh, to any student that is currently watching us? You are in third year, right? Yes. So it means that you did complete your first year, you completed your second year, now you are in third year. So what is the secret behind you, uh, like the secrets that you use so that you pass and go to the preceding year and stuff and stuff, the, the, the uh, proceeding? Okay, what I can say my secret is not giving up, you know. This journey is not walking the path journey, you know, where you buy, you just feel like everything is just going accordingly. There are a lot of ups and downs, but what matters is when you are down, try by all means, you know, to get up again, you know. If you fail something, if you fail a module, that's not the end of the world keep on going until you know until you get it right i'm also coming from a place where it was hard you know like getting to another year and all that but here i am today so it's possible so if you're watching this from high school firstly know that it's possible to come to university just work hard and make sure you good you get good grades and come here if you're doing first year it's also possible man to excel to second year and all that if you're doing second year as well it's also possible you know to get to third year so since i'm also doing third year and i'm very confident that next year i'm doing my final year i'm shutting it down so to all my peers out there also doing third year guys let's keep it together let's fight this together we're gonna get there man we're gonna make yeah. it that's what i can say okay yes. last words for high school students yes. high school students don't forget to study don't forget to study education is the key to success i'll repeat that we are here today because we sacrificed we had so many sleepless nights you know whatever your teachers are teaching you guys do not take it for granted make sure you listen to your teachers and make sure you give it your all sacrifice it's only few months left man until you go for your uh final exams just make sure you give it your all guys i put you in my prayer so thank you so much whoa 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 guys uh indeed uh, we had a passionate student studying chemical engineering here at a uh, university of KwaZulu Natal. I don't understand the reason for you not liking this video. Make sure that you like uh, this video. You comment anything that you want to comment, you know. And indeed, guys, it's really, really possible. He is here studying third year, right? So meaning that he managed to pass uh, first year, second year and third year you even heard from him that yeah it's not easy at all at some point you can fail while you put it real thing